And now, with today's response to President Obama's weekly address, editor of the North International, Dan Calabrese. This morning, President Obama once again focused his weekly address on employment and job growth. And I must say, in the course of doing so, he busted out a phrase that, if you think about it, kind of blows the mind. Get a load of this. The President referred to, and I quote, the continued positive trend of diminishing job loss. I want you to think about that for a second. The continued positive trend of diminishing job loss. In other words, the President is trying to make the case that because in the past month we lost 11,000 jobs, whereas earlier in the year we were losing 700,000 jobs a month, that this is positive news. If you think like the President or like the economic illiterates who write for the Associated Press, you might see that as positive news, but it isn't, and it's fairly simple to explain why. Once you have been losing hundreds of thousands of jobs a month for a length of time, A, it's hard to keep losing them at that pace, and B, you're really only going to be getting into good territory when you start reversing the trend and creating new jobs, adding new jobs to the economy. When unemployment is already 10%, and then you lose another 11,000? I hate to tell you this, Mr. President, but there's nothing positive about that. If you lost even one job last month, then the situation would be worse than it was the month before, when it was already really bad. So don't be fooled by the suggestion that because job loss is slower, that things are better. If you're losing any jobs at all versus where you were, it means that things are worse. Now, let's move on to what the President says he's going to do as a solution. The President talks about meeting with folks at plants and meeting with mayors and all this sort of thing. And we, we dealt last week with the whole idea that for the President to still be brainstorming at this point really gives the lie to the whole idea that he ever knew what to do about the economy in the first place. But he then proceeds to go through his laundry list of pet agenda items which he somehow suggests are dealing with the economy or dealing with jobs. Reforming health care, creating green jobs which is, which is really just a way of attaching some sort of economic value to a political agenda of the environmental movement. But most astounding of all, the President says that one of the things he's doing is dealing with the nation's debt. This is an example of how the President will say something because it sounds good without really even having any regard to whether it relates in any way to what he actually does. The President isn't dealing with the debt unless you consider planning to double it within a decade dealing with it. If you look at the budgets that the President himself has laid out for the course of the next decade, he doubles the debt. These are his proposals. For him to sit there and say that he's dealing with the debt is one of the most astounding examples of chutzpah I have ever seen. First you balloon the deficit to four times anything anyone has ever seen, and then you propose to maybe cut it a little bit in the out years, and you say that you're dealing with the debt. And I think that the whole idea that health care reform is going to somehow help the economy because it's going to get costs under control has been pretty much debunked by just about anyone who has taken a serious look at the numbers. The reason the debt is so out of control and the reason federal spending is so out of control is because entitlement spending is out of control and the federal government is legally obligated to continue spending it. Taking health care and making it a right or guaranteeing that everyone has coverage or whatever it is you're doing is creating a whole new entitlement. Historically, the federal government has never been able to control the cost of entitlements, and it's not going to be able to control this one. The fact of the matter is, as the president demonstrates, by continuing to reach around for anything he can find for something resembling an economic plan, he has no idea what to do. When he thinks that losing 11,000 jobs in a month represents some sort of progress, he demonstrates that he doesn't even really understand how the statistics work. And really, folks, the only hope we have is that his agenda fails to get through Congress and the economy starts picking up on its own. Because the government really has never been able to take action to fix the economy. And pretty clearly, this is not going to be the first exception to that rule. I'm Dan Calabrese. This has been this week's response to President Obama's weekly address.